up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we're going to be doing some live arena and i really want to showcase two of my favorite nukas on my account and that's hepfrak and leores both of them are at well they're god tier champions and they are the best built champions on my account hepfrak's got some amazing gear um so we've got attack percentage there some extra attack percentage we've got full reaction as well with like crazy stats going on so yeah some really really good gear and then leores as well in some really nice gear as well not quite as good as hip Frax, but some still some tasty stuff going on so yeah let's just hop straight into live arena i'm gonna try and edit this down a little bit so there's not too much dead air but yeah, should be fun all right so if i ever see some pick cfi i'm usually gonna pick wukong just because I know they're going to bring in Ulma, Death Knight, and Rotos. They might not, but it's still a very good counter. So we're going to pick Leo and Hepfrek right now. Um, I just like to lock them in early, just in case one gets taken away. All right, I think I have to bring in Heji, just because of Warlord and Prince Kaimar. And I am going to take away Sifi. He's taking away Heji. Hopefully... Um, we're faster than they are. All right, so this one's coming completely down to a speed race. And we might have messed up. All right, so pretty much all on cooldown. We're lucky we, he didn't get the strip. Big mistake, my friend. There we go. And this is pretty much a win for us now. He's not going to be able to touch my head frack. And bish bash bosh, win number one. All right, so again, we're against Rotos and Sifi. I'm going to pick Wukong again. And I'm going to choose Hepfrak first, um, just because he's a great counter to Rotos. Okay, so they've brought Uko. We need to lock out Uko. I have to bring in uh, Heji for that. So Marichka and Sifi are a horrible combo. I'm going to have to ban Marichka. Just because Uko's there as well, who can also revive. So I'd rather deal with that than having Marichka keep bringing everyone back. I'm hoping he bans... Okay. I was not expecting that. I was expecting them to ban Heji again. All right. Locking them out with Heji. Oh, counterattack. Nice. I want to try and sheep Rotos. Yeah, we got it. Only because he can just basically keep cleansing. But yeah, he's pretty much out of the fight now. And we're going to double hit with Liores. It wasn't quite enough. But as long as um, Hepfrak can finish it. There we go. Bruh! He just got sat. So usually I heavily lean on Arbiter. She's the best... Um, you know, speed champion I have on my account and I heavily rely on speed at the moment. I don't really have top tier go second team champs. So that's why I try to avoid it. I'm going to bring in Ulma Death Knight and we're probably going to ban uh, Yumiko. So let's bring in Uko. So this looks like it'll be a pretty easy one for me. It just depends if I go first or see if he goes first. Okay, we're getting speed boost. Yep, there we go. Lock everyone down. All right, Rose will probably kill Liores. We'll get the counter attack, though, and kill off their team. All right. Didn't go for it. Nice. So they didn't waste their big skills there. Just do the A3. And Rotos is probably going to use his A3. Hairfrag's going to counter. I think, yeah, we just dropped the team. That's it. Game over. Bit of a hot streak going on right now. Four, uh, fight number four. Three out of three. All right, we're bringing in Hedgy again. Um, we're going to probably block uh, Warlord. But yeah, Warlord's not a massive problem for this team, though. Hairfrag's passive will still pop off. And that usually gets the job done. I mean, Lures will still be doing an insane amount of damage. Uh, 
So we're going to have to ban Romantu. Uh, he can strip. He can stop our passives. And yes, yeah, we really difficult to deal with. And he took away hip frack. Well played. This is going to be this could be a tough one. All right. So one thing that's good is Warlord is not in stone skin. Oh, and we got the strip as well. That's why I love Wukong in this build. Um, I mean, it's, I, I don't know, as control, it you know, it does really help things. We're going to use the A2. If you use the A3, it's not strong enough to kill Rotos because of his passive. But the A2, easy. Easy, easy, easy. Just having a quick look at the leaderboard. So we're in the top 1,500. Uh, I did manage to push into the top 1,200 yesterday. Um, but yeah, so... Let's see. It just depends. It's it's so weird. Like, yeah, <laughs> in an hour's time, we might push up because people have gone down. But yeah, we'll have a look later. Okay, Harima is really difficult for us to deal with. Um, if they ban um, Hepfrak, no, if they ban Liores, we're in trouble because Hepfrak can't do anything to Harima. So I'm going to pick my last champion, my well, last nuke, and see what they go with. Oh, they've taken Wukong and Kaimar. So we're going to have to bring in Heji. And just trying to think who else would be a good option. I don't really, that they'd probably outspeed me. Really, I need like a, another fast champion. What I'm going to do is bring in my Valkyrie. So this Valkyrie, she's built in speed and high accuracy, so she can push back their turn meter. This is like literally the only shot I've got dealing with this team comp. So I'm going to bring in Ronda to see if I can use her to handle their team. I'm going to have to ban Kaimar because he's definitely going to be causing me the most problems out of this team. Wow, this is going to be hard. Uh, yeah. Fair play, Dark Arrow. I think, I think we've been outdone. All right. Let's see. Hopefully, we can lock. So, we've locked most of them out. Going to push back the monkey's turn meter. And this is quite good. We don't have to kill the monkey. We just want to sort of keep him under wraps. And I'm going to go with the big hitter on the A3. So, we didn't quite kill Harima which is going to be probably be a big problem for us. Just going to try it. All right. I was going to try and push back the turn meter. Okay. So the ally protection's on. Going to push back Wukong's turn meter. Oh, <laughs> he's dead again. Okay, I was hoping Harima just doesn't wipe the team. All right, here we go. All right, that's game over. Yeah, I think we didn't play that to the best of our ability either. GG's, man. We got sat. <laughs> Fear my god mode. And this guy's a ninjas on sharks. Nice name. Love, love it. I am curious to see what this guy's going to be bringing. Okay, so he's got Marichka and Gorgrid. So we're going to use speed and we're going to go Uko. We have to ban Marichka. She is so difficult to deal with. I'm hoping we just need one person to strip Gorgrid. Even if we don't strip him, we've got enough damage to deal with him. Big mistake, my friend. Big mistake. Ah, full stone skin. <laughs> we've just been trolled. All right, so we didn't even land one. Okay, so we can kill both their nukes. One of the issues we're going to have, though, is basically Ulmer Death Knight could potentially just wipe the floor of us. I think we are going to get the win still. Let me know what you guys think. Yep, nice sheep sheep. 
Yeah, this is game over, man. Just quit while you're ahead. I've still got some big moves coming. Okay, here we go. And then we are going to go ham with Hepfrak. I mean, this is a really well-built uh, Duchess. And bang! All right, whack it in auto. I'm hoping he's just going to leave right now. Yeah, there we go. Sit down. Damn, they got a Leo. So I'm going to bring in Hepfrak and Ronda to deal with this. Oh, interesting. Interesting. All right, so we're going to rely on Uko again. I'm going to have to ban one of these guys. I'm going to have to ban Warlord, I think. Damn. All right, without the double nuke, this is going to be hard. Anyone with Taris, he's a whale. You know this guy's a whale. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to struggle on this one. All right, boost that turn meter. Strip away. Nice. Just going to try and control Liores. Going to smash the enemy team. But it's just Taris. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh my god, the damage. Oh, I just hate him so much. He's just so tanky. He can just do so much damage. He really is the most broken champion in raid right now. So we're going to sheep him. We're going to boost our turn meter. I don't think... Yes, we cut in. Uh, I'm just going to use the A1. Should be enough to get the kill. And then we're just going to cycle back around to our abilities and take out this Taris. Or is he just going to quit? I mean, the guy, I don't know how you guys feel about him, but he just annoys me so much. There we go. Woo. I was feeling that one. Okay, they took out Arb. So we're going to have to counterplay this. I'm definitely taking the monkey. And we're going to take Ulmer Death Knight as well. Okay, so we're going to go Hepfrak and Liores. Okay, so they've got a bomb champion. They've got two strippers. And they're definitely going for speed. I'm going to have to try Hedgy. So the problem... I mean, they've got two strippers and a bomb champion. I think I'm going to try and take out one of the strippers. Okay, we need a bit of RNG, guys. All right, so we're going to just have to watch them go to town on us. Ju oh, wow. They got the strip. We're in trouble. Nice. Okay, we could still be good. Damn, still managed to get my uh, head frack. You know, three pieces reaction. Okay, just hoping the A2 doesn't break through. Ooh. No. Come on, Liores. Oh. All right, we got this. Come on, Liores. No. They're just too fast. No. Oh, all right, well, can't win them all. That's why I need another god tier speed champion on my team because I just, they take away my Arb, I'm screwed. So I don't, if you can see, I am choosing Arb and the monkey a lot whenever I come against Duchess. It's just a great counter. I'm going to have to probably ban Duchess just because she's fully awakened. And Duchess and Python are a nasty, nasty combo. I have to split them up. All right, so they've brought in Harima, which I always say she causes me problems. So we are going to have to rely on Helicat to keep our team alive. So Helicat and Hepfrak do not work well as a team comp. One of the issues is that we want people to die on our team so we can use our passive. And Hep uh, sorry, Helicat is going to block that.
but I think this is going to be an easy win for us. It's as long as we can take down uh, Pythion, it's going to be easy. Going to sheep more to. And we're going to do just, we'll start with the A1. Okay, maybe that wasn't the smartest thing to do, but we're going to open up with the A2 next. All right, here we go. Almost there. I don't know why this guy's fighting it. It's definitely a loss. Strip him. And that's it. And that's all she wrote, guys. All right, so going up against someone from Sin, they are an insane cluster. I believe it's the cluster that uh, Nubraids is from. Very, very strong clan. This is going to be a hard one. So we are going to bring in Ult with Death Knight. And I'm going to take out... I'm going to have to take out Yumiko. Okay, I was hoping they were going to leave Ult with Death Knight in. A great counter is basically... Uh, Gorgrid will go for the single target kill. Ulmer definitely will eat it. He dies and then Hepfrak will counter and kill him. Really, really good strat. I use a lot. Damn, his Seafy is faster than Arb. But we're going to cut in. We're going to sheep Gorgrid. So Dutch is going next. And see if he gets to go again. Okay, so... Um, Rotos is going to go before my Leo. And because of the passive, we didn't get the kill, which is annoying. Damn, look at the damage. All right, I think this... Yeah, this... This is probably going to be a loss. But we still we still got a shot. So we're gonna wipe their teeth. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Easy light work. Wow. I can't believe we just beat that team. But like I said, Leo and Hepfrak, they are an insane combo. I just can't believe we just got that win. So let's just have a quick look at today. And we've just gone into gold two as well. So we're top 1400 at the moment. We're banging with the big boys. I mean, these are some serious players right here, but we two, so eight out of 10, not bad at all. Two losses. GG, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.